Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're working on the Chrysler yet again. Um, but, first things first, I'm recording on the GoPro, as well as the iPhone. And I wanted to see what you guys prefer. So, I'm gonna put a clip up right here of just the GoPro. And then this clip is on the iPhone XS Max. So, you guys let me know what you guys prefer, and uh, we'll go from there. And, uh, you know, if you like the GoPro better, or the iPhone, one of the two, just let me know. Um, I still have this thing, you know, <laughs> still works. I, I just haven't used it because of having computer problems, that kind of thing. And it's just more convenient uh, for the phone, which is what I'm currently filming on. So, you guys just let me know. Um, I'm open, <laughs> open to whatever you guys think. Now that I have my computer and everything in the office again, um, I don't think I showed you guys that already. But now that that's all taken care of, it's a lot more easier to film and edit on the computer and that kind of thing so just let me know but anyways what we're gonna do right now is I'm waiting for my grandpa to get home and when he gets home me and him are heading back to Fort Smith where we got the Chrysler which is in the shop down there um, we're heading back to Fort Smith to pick up two wheels for the car and I found some on marketplace way up there so we're gonna go pick those up um, I found two wheels uh, for 30 bucks, so it's kind of hard not to pass that up when uh, they're like three, two or three fifty on uh, eBay used. So I'm gonna go pick those up, and uh, it's probably gonna be dark, being the sun is already setting. So I will see you guys when we get back home in uh, probably four or five hours, because it's about 100. And 50 miles one way. Alright guys, so just picked up the wheels. Um, the tires hold there, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> They're not the same size as the ones on my car, but they will work uh, for right now. And then I'll just find some either some used ones to get it aligned and that kind of thing or go ahead and order a matching tire but until then it is now 7 15 it's 33 degrees and my phone shows for there to be a raisin canes that way so we're going that way and then uh i guess we're gonna head home and uh, i'll show you these when we get home uh, depending on what time it is but anyways I'll catch you guys back at the house. Alrighty guys, so we're back home. I got these offloaded here onto the trailer. And I thought I'd show you what we got here. They're just factory wheels, no center caps. Tires are shot, but they do hold air. So they do got some curb rash. You can see a little bit right there. But for 30 bucks, order a new tire and have one as a spare fix the carb rash clean them up paint them so i'm not too worried but anyways it is well it's like midnight so i will catch you guys maybe tomorrow and uh, we'll continue work on the chrysler yet again all righty guys so it is now friday afternoon and it is looking like a proper, <laughs> very proper uh, winter day here in Arkansas. But it's not going to stop us. Even though the shop don't have no heat. <laughs> but uh, I am going to continue work on the Chrysler yet again. So I'm going to go in here, start the lights and all that here in the shop. Let them be warming up and all that kind of thing. And uh, here in a little bit, we'll come out here. 
think today we're gonna work on getting that hub replaced and uh, it's probably might start on the interior I don't know but anyways I'm gonna like I said go in here fire up the lights and everything let it start warming up here are the wheels um, that I was showing y'all the other night so they're not bad little rash kind of all the way around them not no big deal hole up there in that wheel over there that I pulled off of the car so we uh you know tires are bald on both of them but I think it's a relatively decent deal 30 bucks you know <clears throat> but anyways I'm gonna get going here and uh I'm actually about to film the video that y'all will have seen Tuesday. So, alrighty, guys. So I'm about to get started here on the car. Um, here in just a little bit. I gotta go and take care of some stuff. Still gotta get Christmas presents and all that kind of thing. But um, tonight we are going to be tackling uh, installing this new hub here. So here in a little bit, I'm gonna jack the car up. Set it on jack stands, and uh, when we get back from Christmas shopping, we'll uh, we'll get that taken care of. And like I said, probably get started on the interior. But while we're out, I got to pick up a clamp to be able to clamp this section to get it ready to pull. Uh, unless we drill a hole in it and do all that, but. I would rather clamp it. We'll just have to see how all that works out. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put the car up on uh, jack and jack stands, all that stuff. And uh, we'll get started on that here in a little bit. And uh, probably also we'll start on the door a little bit, get it bent out. That way we don't have to keep pulling the fender off. But as you guys can see, we have quite the mess here. <laughs> parts everywhere but the weather's well it's not cooperating so I wanted to move everything in here and keep everything in here but anyways I'm gonna get started and uh, I'll update y'all here in a bit all right guys so I went ahead and had the car jacked up pull that spare off and uh, first thing I'm gonna do to change this hub is pull this whole caliper and uh, caliper bracket off there's two 18s See, I got one loose down there. We're taking the other one off, and then I'm gonna hang the uh, the full thing off of this slide pin here onto the spring. Pop this dust cover off, and there will be, I don't even remember what size that thing is. Yeah, there you go. Inch and, inch and three eighths. So that is for this axle nut, and then just pop this. This whole deal come off all right so got all this back on as well as one of these new wheels with the better of the two tires uh here's the old hub that we pulled off the car i'm gonna keep it in case something's wrong with this one uh, just for a like a spare but anyways now we'll start working on this door here and see if we can get this pulled out a little bit um i think what we're gonna try to do is use uh, one of those porta powers and push off of off of here. So I went ahead and I removed this the fender bracket, the lower fender bracket here, and I'm going to go ahead and remove this one as well because I do need to straighten it because it is it is bent just a little bit. So uh, just two tens removes these, not a big deal. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull this um, whatever you call it off. And I'll go ahead and try to clean this up a little bit and start pushing and see if we can fix this door up a little bit. All right, so get pushed off of this like I was talking about. You can kind of see a little scuff there. But for the most part, we got the door pretty straight. Now uh, there's a little, little low spot right there. But other than that, I think we can take the stud gun over there Grab all this paint off, take that stud gun, pull it out right here, 
and then work it a little bit all the way back here and I think we should be fine and throw a little glaze over it and I think we'll be good to go so you can see there's a there's a high spot here but I think if we work this out we can kind of massage that down and then what I thought was cracking right here is actually just paint chipped so I think we'll be able to fix this door uh, relatively easy but anyways there it is all right guys so now that i got that done i'm going to go ahead and start working on replacing this locked up seat belt here i know that it bolts on to the side of the seat up yonder and uh first thing i'm gonna start with you have that little guy there this thing and all you gotta do is twist it um clockwise and it just pops out pretty cool but now i'm not real sure how i gotta go about doing this um as far as getting down here i popped off that piece probably gonna have to pop off this piece and to do that i'm gonna take this off and to do that i'm gonna take this piece off right here so i'm gonna do some research see how that stuff comes off and uh see where everything goes from there and i will let you guys know how all that plays out but i do know there's probably a bolt right behind this piece and then there's the bolt or however many it is down there i don't remember but should be pretty simple i would think we'll just have to see Alrighty, guys so we removed that piece which i was thinking about a minute ago it's got some weird little button attached to it. I don't know what that's for. We'll have to look at that. But I got a T50 Torx right here. I uh, just popped that little cap off. I didn't even have to take this off. I don't know why I did. But there's a screw right there. And then there's two screws right here. And then what you'll be able to do is feed the seat belt through this split right here. And then you can pop this piece off. And now, you can get to everything um that's the idea anyway down here so that's probably not going to be fun um probably what i'm going to do is try to pop this piece up to get to the screw and just take this whole deal out maybe give me room i don't know we'll just have to see all right guys so there's a bolt down there it's a t50 torx uh same as this one that's a an e torx you know what holds the seat belt here to the seat and then there's a screw right here at the top and then you'll have a safety clip there just take a pick and uh pop that yellow tab up and then you'll be able to pop that black plug off completely and then this will be ready to come off and the new one will be ready to go on Alrighty, guys so i'm just gonna call it here uh I was going to put that new seatbelt in, but if you'll notice, that seatbelt's black. These seatbelts are gray. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to find a gray seatbelt. And I don't want to put all this stuff back together, because this is really not all that fun to uh, do. So, I would really rather just wait and get a seatbelt. So, I'm going to go ahead and just clean this up right here. That way I'm not rubbing my arm on this every time I drive the car and whatnot. So I'm gonna do that and uh probably go back to the junkyard maybe this weekend. I don't know. We'll just have to see what all we got going and uh I guess just try to get another seat belt. But anyways that's probably gonna be all because it is pretty late. It's like man it's like eleven. My grandpa he just went in and uh, I think I'm probably gonna call it for the day. So I was gonna pull that airbag out right there, but there's really no sense to. And well, I think this is a uh, stopping point for the day. Now, uh, this weekend, sometime or another, I'm just gonna leave these tools in here. But sometime this weekend, I need to uh, start fitting up new parts. 
such as this crash bar under there, under the front bumper. I'm gonna fit it up. You know I gotta bend that flange a little bit to the dent. So I'm gonna fit it up. I got the old absorber is behind that little table. So I got it, and then after that, I'll do some measurements. See how much we need to pull this piece here. I know it needs to come up a little bit. It needs to come out and forward just a tad bit. Not a whole lot. Um, not a whole lot all the way around. Just fine tuning stuff. So, anyways, what we'll probably do is level it out on jack stands here in the shop. Probably turn the car around, level it out on jack stands, and pull it. But. Anyways guys, I'm probably gonna call it here for the video If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please leave a like and comment down below hit that subscribe button Thanks for watching guys. Hope everybody has a wonderful day But we're we're getting close so after I get this piece welded in I think what we're gonna do I think what I decided Is I'm just gonna remove this whole piece um, can do it seamlessly with the new one over there. So I think it'll be cleaner that way. And then we'll straighten up these flanges here, top and bottom, and then weld that new piece in. But we're getting very close. Um, just takes time. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna head in, and I will catch you guys on the next one.